Welcome to a macro view where we take an in-depth look at Rule 20 macros and break them down in an attempt to make you a better macro maker. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jim. Let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. This video is entitled Healing Potions. We use in our group um, the house rule that healing potions are maximum value <clears throat> all the time when you use them. But not everybody does. And so there are four different types of healing potions, regular, greater, superior, and supreme. Each has a different set of roles, and each does the maximum healing would be different for each. So this is our first example of asking the user a question and based on that response then we return what's appropriate um, this is a very good macro for dms uh, because they can create a macro if you look at the dm vantage video uh, the second video a dm can create the macro and everybody can use it but you can create it for yourself as well so we're going to look at that. So we're going to start with um, the role, uh, the role option instead of the maximum healing potion option. So again, we always use uh, the default template. So we're going to start with ampersand template colon default and then we're going to call this if you watched the last video I explained how this particular macros are built and what they're doing in the background I'll oh, start with the name equals healing potion so now if we just run this all by itself all we're going to get is title bar, healing potion. So <clears throat> now we're going to create another row. Now I'm going to do this on a separate row so you can see it, but we're going to put it back together. So we need to open the braces and we need to close the braces. So in between these is where we're going to put the information. So now here's our first ability to call and ask a question to the user. And so whenever you want to create a combo box or a question that they have to select uh, choices from, you're going to start that with a question mark. Brace. And then what do you want the question to be? And we're going to use which potion? And then a pipe. And then now you start building your options. So we're going to do, and they're, they're separated by commas. So there is a regular potion, comma, and then a pipe for the next one. We're going to fill that in and we come back. So then we have greater pipe, and we have superior, comma, pipe. And supreme. Comma. And then we're going to end the combo box. Now to run this, I have to put it all back together. But I want to see how it. So now we're going to make this easy to start with. And we're going to do regular. And we're just going to return a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. So this, after the comma, is where you put what, what's going to happen if they select that choice. So we'll run this. And here's our input value. So we're asking them which potion do you want. you want a regular potion, a greater potion, superior potion, or a supreme? So if we pick regular and submit, 
we get a one. If we do greater and you submit, you get a two. And if you do superior, you get a three. And if you do a supreme, you get a four. So it's working as it should. So we've asked the question, which potion do you want to put, select? And our four options are regular, greater, superior, and supreme. Now we're going to build, if they pick regular, we need to do a roll. So in here, we're going to put regular potion does. And a roll is always in brackets. 2d4 plus 2 healing. Okay, so we're going to put the text in there. Regular potion does. System's going to roll 2 die 4 and then add 2 to it and then healing. So let's run this and see what this looks like. So regular submit. Regular potion does 7 healing. And if you hover over it, like we learned from the last, last video, it roll, it's going to, on the left side, it equals is what it's going to roll. On the right side is what it actually rolled. So it's going to roll two die four and add two to it. It rolled a three and a two and then added two for a result of seven. So regular hope potion does seven. So now we're just going to build the other ones exactly the same. So let's go. Let's go to copy. So now we're going to do greater potion does and they are four die four plus four four die four plus four so let's run a greater and see if that works right greater greater potion does 13 healing you can see it rolled four die four plus four it rolled a three a one a three and a two and then added four to it for a result of 13. So let's build the last two. Supreme is going to be Supreme Potion does and that was the wrong one I did. This is actually Supreme. Supreme Potion does. This is actually superior. And a superior is 8 die 4 plus 8. And a supreme is 10 die 4 plus. I don't know if that's right. I have, to, I have to look that up. That might be wrong. I don't know that it adds 20. Okay, we'll go with 20 for now. It might not be right. So let's run this. I think it's actually 10. Let's go with 10. We'll figure it out. So now let's run a superior. And it rolled 8 die 4. Is that right? 8 die 4 plus 8. You can see it rolled a 3. Holy cow, look at that. All those 4s. And uh, according to the last video we watched, it's blue. The box is blue because at least one roll was a maximum value and one roll was a minimum value. If only one roll, if, if one roll is minimum and nothing else is, maximum it'll be a red box if at least one roll is a maximum value it'll be green box but if there's a maximum and a minimum it'll be blue so you can see that that worked correctly and now let's run a superior to make sure it's working right or supreme and you can see it rolled 10 die 4 much worse rolls one four one is only two fours and then it adds 10 to it for a result of 34. So that macro right there is a healing potion macro. That's a complete macro, which I will put in the 
information in the description below. Now let's look at, it's very similar for the maximum values. So healing potion, which potion we're still going to ask the same thing, but instead of rolling, we just know that the maximum value for, whoops, for a regular is 10, for a greater, Twenty. Superior is forty. And sixty. So now if we run this, it's not actually gonna roll for us, it's just gonna tell us. So if I run a greater greater potion just one healing. And that's the one that I've created for our people. Regular potion just ten healing. Because they're always max value. So I will put these both in the description below. And that is our first macro um, that we have created. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And again, if you have specific macros you'd like to see uh, for specific attacks, spells, feeds, features, put them in the comments. And uh, I'll do my best to get the macro and a video done for that. Um, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.